I may not always know the answer, and I'm old enough by now that I'm not ashamed to say I don't know. I'll try to find out.
Um, you said that we are the enemy, and I was kind of offended by that. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you're, like, you're my enemy. Like, I, I think like, you're my friend. You know, you're Jewish. Like, I want to invite you. We're going to show you this Friday at the, at the uh, Cultural Center. Center. Um, I want to invite you if you're still in the area to come. But that's pretty much it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just respond to your last uh, comment that you were offended. And I didn't mean to offend you. But, <clears throat> you know, when uh, when I be before I went the very first time to the West Bank, and uh, the many times after that, some Jewish people have said to me, you know, don't go there. You know, you're going to get killed. You're going to some some horrible things going to happen to me because the Palestinians are out to kill the Jews. And you know, Israel, go to Israel. You'll be safe there. Be, you, you'll be welcome there. Well, I went to the West Bank, and I was in Israel. In the West Bank, the Palestinians have offered me hospitality unlike any that I've received anywhere else in the world. They have protected me. They have taken care of me. They've opened their homes to me. When I left the West Bank the first time in 2004, after spending several weeks in the West Bank, and I left via the airport in Israel, in Tel Aviv. I was detained for five hours. I was strip searched. I was internally searched by my friends, quote unquote, the Israelis. That's not what happened to me in Palestine. And when I asked the young woman, the what security person, why are you doing that? She said to me, because you're a terrorist, because you're a security risk. Now that's not what the Palestinians ever said to me. And that's what the I Israel- I just kind of want to know, like, why did you call us enemies? I'm sorry? Why, why was I called an enemy in this presentation? Why was I called? Why did you call me and my friend as enemy? Well, someone who strip searches me and who internally searches me is not my friend. But no one in the audience strip searched you or anything. I don't understand why we're doing this. Questions will only be taken until you're standing after you seat. After you're seated, then that's it. Okay. So, okay. Right. I'll ask your question. We'll speak. take your question after. If anyone answers the question, then we'll take yours again. No one else does. Any more questions? Oh, he has two more. She's going to answer the rest of it, and then you can answer again if no one else has a question. Yeah. I'm, and I'm going to ask you to repeat your first and second question. I got so caught up in the third one that I... <laughs> I guess the first one was that you know, after the Holocaust or whatever, my family personally, I'm sure a lot of people's families here, you know, weren't allowed to go anywhere else. The U.S. wasn't allowed them in. Canada wasn't allowed them in. We couldn't go back to Europe. You know, Europe becomes a turmoil. Israel is the only country that actually accepted us to put this in. The Holocaust was over in May 1945. Correct. Israel did not become a state until May of 1948. So there's a hiatus of about three years there. Um, and you, I remember in your, initially you also said that in Europe was no longer a safe place for them. I was in Europe, I was on the con what, in England, they refer to it as the continent. In other words, everything other than England is the continent. And I did not find it an unsafe place at that time. You know, people have a free choice to, as to where they want to go. And, and But sometimes that free choice is impacted by propaganda and by urgings, you know, where it, the, it, a lot of the Jewish people who were in a displaced persons camp were told, you know, you can't stay here forever and you have to go to Israel. Some of them went to Israel and decided to do that for whatever their reasons were. But many, in the larger number, decided not to go to Israel or to Palestine before Israel became a state. They came a huge number came to this country, and a far larger number than went to Israel. And uh, when Israel became a state, 
about 700,000 dollars 